all for this uh, auspicious day that has, that God has given us. And it's always a great privilege for me to welcome Doreen for any of our uh, sessions which I call for call her to help us out as a person to really agree and she comes. And uh, she's not new to us. Right from 2017, she's uh, helping us in uh, technology side. But today she's going to help us in uh, a different perspective in intellectual uh, property rights. But uh, at this point, I would I I am not going to the formal uh, welcome because it's already been done earlier and she's not new to us. But I take a uh, privilege in uh, thanking Donna at this juncture because right from 2017, which uh, effort which you have put in and the input which you have given has really helped out during the pandemic. And uh, with the help of our dynamic principle, we were able to reach out even other. Uh, faculty of various other colleges and uh, faculty of various other schools and we were able to serve as resource persons with the input that you have given and uh, we were able to enlighten many uh, uh, faculty during this pandemic in which technology was made of the art. So I take this opportunity to once again welcome uh, Doreen and uh, every effort you put in this campus it is really the reflection in every application of our work. So I thank you and I welcome you at this juncture to handle the session on intellectual property rights. Over to Doreen. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Miss. Thank you to all the professors. Always Christopher's is close to my heart. Okay, it's like a family. We come back again, and uh, I have been in different dimension right from the past uh, six months. We are we are promoting IPR in in educational institutions, right? In different educational institutions, I've been addressing, and uh, we are collaborating on how what what. Today we'll be seeing what is an intellectual property right and wherein as an education technology institution, wherein you, you are the one who, who are creating teachers, right? You are training the teachers. You are then leaving them into the real world and uh, they come out of that's the fruit. You, you are uh, pruning the fruit and you are creating the students. So lot of, when you take even education institution, each of you, you defer. And you know, St. Christopher's always stands unique. The way you teach, okay, the syllabus you follow, everything it's unique, right? So how could you have your methodology? What are the successful factors that you have, you have got rich experience, right? Uh, it's a very old institution, and you have you should have inherited the teaching methodology from your ancestors. What is that? This was a successful factor. This method I was able to reach to students, the train the students. So a uh, baron, you can put in effort in creating your innovation. And how do you register it? Is that we are going to see today? All right, and I'll share my screen with you. And tomorrow we'll be seeing in uh, in depth about uh, wherein you could collaborate with the, the innovation cell, okay, institution innovation cell, and where you'll be able to uh, register your content. Once again, I would like to thank the entire management principal, ma'am. And a special thanks to Jasmine Miss and all the faculty. I, I call her Jasmine Miss because she was my uh, school teacher for a long period of time. So, and all the professors, thank you so much. And indeed, it's a great uh, honor to hear that the faculties of St. Christopher's, you are the resource person in training many faculties around the world, okay, 
on teaching education technology right it's all i always give preference if i get two options whether either to go into teaching the students or teaching the faculty i always give preference to teaching the faculty the reason behind once you get trained through you thousands and thousands of students and teachers could be trained where it will be able to scale up the education technologies to the marginalized to the people who are in need so great so i hope after a few years even you will be uh, having a great course on ipr and training the other education institutions too all the best uh, okay so to start off with the day so intellectual property right it is the right given to the person over the creation of their might okay ipr it just stands for the rights each of your creation okay each of your creation how the government is giving you rights that it is uh i don't know someone's mic is on okay one of uh pramila mom's mic is on if possible can you put your mic on mute ma'am okay so ipr of the rights given to the person over the creation of their mind okay you are the creators okay though if you take into your education institution okay though you have two sections say for example you have two sections of students all right and you are going to take the same course whether it, the content is the same but the subject content delivery is it same or it is different if it is yes you can type a why you on the chat no you can type in on the chat so the same subject the same content but the way you teach is is the same with the co teacher or is it different you can unmute and speak to no mommy different okay others same subject two teachers handling the same subject content is the same the way you teach is it the same or is it different yes doy no, ma'am it is different each of us you are using your unique way of delivering the subject content to that's your own creation of mind the way you see the content the intention of the topic the way you teach the way you recap that order will be the same but the way you try to some of you you will be using more examples to make the students understand some of you will use real time examples okay some of you you will teach from the theory it differs it's your own creation of mind okay we have, most of us are women here almost all are women say for example most of us we make sambar right we cook sambar it is sambar it has dal and every content but the way each of us we prepare it is not the same okay there is some kind of uniqueness where we change things okay the way that is we are the creator you are the creator so ipr reva ma'am any doubts okay so ipr of the rights given to the person over there see that you have doing a lot and that you can claim it as a right how you could register it is what is ipr all means you have been doing so much and so more for last year uh, so many years okay they usually give the creator an exclusive right over the creation for a certain period of time there are different iprs we are going to see what are the major uh, roles of the iprs all right and when you take the vision of our indian national ipr policy, to see what it says the vision of it okay and india where intellectual property stimulates creativity and innovation for the benefit of all they are saying what does ipr what and all you can have you can stimulate the creativity and innovation for the benefit of all so where we are going to do something in so here where the word innovation comes okay innovation that's your own creativity you you should the way the methodology in where you take classes what is the steps that you do how you make the students to do the project how what are the steps that you do that could be also be registered and you can have your rights and that should be beneficial for all that is what the government says right indian government says intellectual property right it should have a two words of more important the creativity and the innovation for the benefit of all the citizens of india all right so this is the main uh, concept of ipr's vision 
So IPR and higher education institutions like your college or uh, it could be an engineering college, it could be a medical college, it could be an arts and science college, whatever it is, IPR, HEI, IPR and higher education institution, universities and public research institutions are among direct contributors towards innovation and research. Whether there is innovation and research in your institution, yes, no, it's there. You are doing a lot of innovation. You are doing a lot of research, right? But how are we documenting it? Okay. Uh, so universities and public research institutions, you, because uh, the students do a project, yes, the students do something new. It's not only one student. It is the entire set of students. The question is, are we documenting it? Are we registering it? Are we making it as a benefit for all these IT? Okay. The significance of IPR and higher education is widely, widely recognized. It came into, this could be credited by the National IPR policy approved by the Union Cabinet in the year May 2016, which was the first, that is where they opened the educational institutions ecosystem to have IPR into it. All right. So two words are more important, the creativity and innovation and for the benefit of all. That is what the government of India needs. Okay. So even in higher education institution all the institutions most of them they have a cell so the primary focus of this policy the ipr policy intellectual property right policy is promoting innovation and creativity especially among entrepreneurs okay in higher education institution okay you can have government is allowing all the institutions to have a startup okay you find something new where it could be useful usable for uh, the society with the students and the faculties, we could have a startup. We'll be speaking about NISP also. Uh, do you have NISP in your institution, National Innovation Startup Policy? Yes, no? Okay. Because a lot and lot of opportunities government is giving nowadays. Okay, The primary focus is just the two, but back to back again, it is the innovation and the creativity. Okay, so it is the place where most of the basic ideas leads to researches and converted into inventions. So meanwhile, when you take, you have an idea, then you research over the idea, how do you make it? And then you make an invention, okay? Invention, then you go into the IPR and you can become a startup or entrepreneurs. Okay. So innovation is invention into commercialization. Innovation, the formula, you can say invention, you invent something and you commercialize it. You are not you are not inventing to use it only for yourself. You are commercializing it for the benefit of all. Okay. So invention is something you find out something out of the research. And innovation is invention into commercialization. It is the place where, uh, so meanwhile when you take gives inventors to protect their invention. Okay, you invent something, you're doing your PhDs, you're inventing something new, are we patterning it? Are we registering it? Is it something new you're going to find? We, it is not the end of your research. Are we filing it? So that the other people, the uh, citizens, because it's an open forum, wherein whatever is your invention, people will be able to find it out and they could use it. I will be showing that. So IPR, uh, converting inventor's idea, and then you can have a new startup where through which, as you said, you can have startups registered by the government from the, the because IPR is a policy from May 2016, they open for higher education institutions, okay, to use it. So your idea, you have an idea that this could be done this way, you research over it, all right, and then you invent it you commercialize it, invention, then you register it, whatever that you have found it out, and you can have a start. These are uh, the set of top universities and institutions. Now, there is, there is a lot of eye opening for all the institutions to have uh, uh, IPR at their college, and these are the patterns. Pattern is one such component of IPR. All right. Last 10 years, can you see? Institutions. Before it was very less after 16, 17, 18, 19. So when you take IPR, these these uh, five are the basic co uh, components of it. There are many things. One is a copyright, geographical indication, patent, trademark, and trade secrets. Okay. So there are many things that comes into the IPR. 
but these are the uh, major sections of intellectual property right where you could claim your rights okay is it okay whether you able to understand i don't know it's really new okay if you have got any doubts you can stop me at any time okay let's see with an example of ipr of the major companies okay see when you have uh, we have coke right when you see coke the way they coke is uh, they manufacture coke it is different from fanta yes it's different so the trade secret they protect the secret information on trading that is the trade secrets new inventions when you have a new invention that part is your trade secrets trademark when you take an apple phone how when you see your phone how do you say it is an apple phone you have the logo of it right a bit an apple if you see samsung you know it so when you take christopher's college the logo it says that's christopher's right so each of us you have when you take wcc you have wcc in chennai you have wcc in nagpur but both differs the logo differs so protecting the brands are we protecting our brands that's your trade you have to protect the so we are doing so many things are we protecting it so protect for example apple for cell phones you have got a uni okay when you take into the copyrights protects works of authorships you write a book in all the books you see right it is copyrighted yes no when you take a book on to the left card you can see it is copyrighted so it protects the workshops of author it's not only books it could be a drawings okay it, it could be a movie it could be a music okay each of them they have categorized where in this component how it could be document patterns it should be functional protects functional or ornamented the swipe feature of an iphone okay that could be as a pattern the swipe feature of iphone will be different from apple phones okay see these are some examples you can map it to your educational institution wherein are can this part be trademark can this part be copyrighted i have this method of uh, functioning my system that could be done all right and it's successful okay so then the next thing is the geographical indication okay um if you see malli enna malli nu solluvom generally when you see malli poi ikkaralla adu enna malli appdi nu solluvom which which is, which place is famous for madura 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 malli so you have a geographical indication with that when you say alwa which place we say tirunelveli tirunelveli alwa but see these are the things that is there we think that is just like that but it comes from the geographical education we, we always say a dog with relative to a place which place a dog dog unmute panni chalunga rajapalayam rajapalayam dog okay so this is an example of geographical indication okay you have a place if you say uh, silk sari which place is famous for silk sari kanjipuram silk so silk manufactured from kanjipuram is famous you know people for wedding they travel long places come to kanjipuram to get a silk sari so these are examples of geographical indication copyrights it could be a book it could be a drawing it could be a music you have your own music for your college it could be copyrighted all right trade secret you have some secret on trading that could be made patent something that is functional okay so and then the trademarks we have seen some uh, that you have a special thing we'll see about each even it may be a food item food item plan like uh, britannia will be yes yes we'll be seeing in detail okay
So IPR when you take startups and IPRs are the major pillar of higher education institution. Okay, so higher education institution, you can have a startup. Okay, and the startups and IPR they are the major pillars. Now from 2016, most of the colleges I said it could be arts and science college. It could be an engineering college, it could be a medical college, it could be a B.Ed college. They are all focusing on startups and IPRs. Okay, you know the difference between discovery and invention. Invention and innovation, I told already innovation is invention multiplied by commercialization. Are we commercializing? You invent something. You invent something and then you are commercializing it, right? As well said by Dasmanis, right? You all learned education technology. That's one of the methodologies. And then you started training others, right? So startups, entrepreneurship, and IPR, these are the things that we are going to see today. Just a minute. So this is the website of ipindia.gov.in. You can make a note of it. I will also post it on the chat box. Can you see in my screen? Okay. Yes, no? Have you got it on the chat box? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the official website of IP. IP India. I told you about patents. Yes. The designs. So you have a new design. And all the steps is given in the website. It's a very good website where each and every step is given. We'll go one by one. IPIndia.gov.in. You have a design. If you will see a Coca-Cola bottle, the design is different. Manufacturing unit, the trademarks. GI, I told you about geographic indications. Okay. The trademarks, the trade secrets. This comes under the Department of Promotion of Industry and Internet Trade, IP, Intellectual Property Rate, Patents, Design, Trademarks, and Geographical Indications. And Geographical Indications. Right. So if I come into the patents, can you see? There's something called public search. So here, uh, expired patents, patent has got its duration, the trademarks, the design. Okay. So, and also before you want to have your own patent, okay, here you can see how they are registered with the patent, the patent search. Okay. I hope my patent search screen is visible to you. Yes. Okay. So public patent, for example, they want to search something with education. There are two things. One is published, which is they've submitted and published. And it has got different phases. I'm going to search uh, till when it is granted. Okay, till it is granted. So Indian Patent Advanced Search System. Mm. And then... Okay, can you see here the patent search in education system is, can you see right from 1924, improvements in, in, in education, uh, music appliance, can, can you see here it is granted, 1973, okay, every time whatever we are doing it, it will be there into it. All right, can you see here the teaching aid? 
the teaching aid. Can you see the teaching aid for teaching? That also they've registered as a patent. See, it's a very old 1973's patent, but education, oral hygiene for any children. All right. So these are the old ones. Now I'll show you the new one. So due date for the next renewal they've given. So this is done by the Institute of Technology from Elahanka. Can you see the date that is granted? The recorder, the date of pattern, the date of granted. Okay. And you can view all the documents, whatever they have given. So once it, it is approved, they get this patent certificate. Can you see the patent certificate? It is for the invention teaching aid for teaching concepts of stats in computer science for the 20 years, right from October 2014. Right from October 2014. So we, you could have done so much of teaching aids, right? Which is more innovative, okay? It, it, it is the unique idea of a child, of a student or the faculty. This is the teaching model that you think it would be more appropriate for the students to understand the concepts, all right? So that is that also could be patented, okay? So anything that is an innovation that's a working model that could be Patent. Able to understand what it's different. It's just a spark we are starting. As we move through it, you'll, you'll experience the fruitfulness of it. All right. Okay. We have time to go to check that. You can make a note of this website. Okay, uh, Office of the Central uh, uh, General of Patents. Okay, the main the uh, Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Intellectual Property and Management is at Nagpur, and Patent Office the head office is in Kolkata, Delhi, Chennai, and Design Office the design the trademark registry is here. Geographical indications at Chennai. And uh, this will not be there useful for you because it's integrated chip. It's Delhi and copyright registry. It isn't Delhi. It isn't Delhi. So um, uh, here we have national student and faculty startup policy. Uh, do we have it at Saint Christopher's? NISP, NISP or NSFSP? Yes, no. So here, uh, the government of in, uh, India is initiating from right from 2019, all right, developing entrepreneurial agenda, managing intellectual property right ownership. You have a technology that could be licensed, something that is new that you use for your institution, equity share in startups or policies, and the NISP, okay? So he is a professor, Ashok Jindwala, from IIT here. He made this innovation and start ecosystem to the education he was the first person to bring it that is what we are all using okay so this it stands for national i told right when you take ipr this creativity and innovation for the benefit of all so this is one of the most component okay it's for students and faculty and here this website you can make a note of it make.gov.in mhrt.gov.in where and you have a national innovation and startup policy for students and faculties. Okay, this is the entire document of it. Okay. I could share the link on the G meet.
So this is a website, mic.gov.in. From 2019, they're promoting a lot. 2019, they're promoting the startups and the innovation ecosystem into our educational ecosystem. He was the person, Ashok Jindalwala. Okay, he's the chairman of NISPC, a national innovation startup policy. He was the one who thought because the young minds have got a lot of innovation and the education system is the one where the researchers are going. And he always finds it is not documented and that is what this policy of national innovation and startup policy came into existence where you can have faculties and students. Okay, faculties and students. Okay. How to have innovation and entrepreneurship. Okay, guidelines for uh, implementation in institutions or colleges. Okay, the entire guidelines is given here. How you can work on with that and what are the support the government gives. We'll be seeing in detail. Rights for technology developed at the institutions. Startup enabling HEI, wherever you see HEI, it stands for Higher Education Institution. All higher education institutions, okay, all higher education institutions. Okay, the goal is from innovation to enterprise to financial success. That's what I said, invention into commercialization. You can have an incubation centers. Okay, all advice to create support, IIC. You can have an innovation cell, entrepreneurship development cell. I don't know whether you, you may have it also. This is what, the, from 2019 policy. Okay, 2019, they wish to have all higher education institutions and to staff to work with their innovation project and setting up startups along with the students students entrepreneurships can make a model out of it maybe sometimes you can think this is one of the best uh, uh, teaching model to teach the concept if you make it then you can pattern it okay because you are all excellent in preparing the teaching material where in the best method to reach the concepts to the students okay so that once it is documented it will be beneficial for all okay and the next thing that government of tamil nadu it gives us tamil nadu startup and innovation policy from 2018 to 2023 tamil nadu that is national innovation startup policy which is NISP. Okay, the next thing, I'm just telling what are the policies government is giving to integrate education institution into innovation, right? So here you can have a private IP centers to part to that is where you also work on, okay? And existing to strengthen to serve patterns, how to write patterns and also facilitate. This is uh, um, the entire documentation. And the share is also into the needs so what time I could take this ten ten to ten to ten ten can stop ten fifteen okay 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 so this uh, in MSME what they are giving it for colleges, okay, for students. So see, Tansom will contact outreach program with colleges, incubators, private entities around, introducing entrepreneurship in schools and colleges, okay. Universities and colleges have more startup with the department. Students are allowed to take the maximum of these and training. Major, they want to give a training and what it could be done. All right, so coming into this. So generally we know the type of properties, right? One is a mobile property, the cars and the jewels. All right. And the next, if you have a move in immovable property, it is the houses and the lands. Okay, can any one of you say whose house is this? Sorry.
It's a house. Is it looking unique? Whose house is it? It's the house of Sachin Tendulkar. See how unique, and that could be also okay. So it's a new unique house. Okay. So but see, when you take movable property, it is cars and jewels. Immovable property is house and lands. When you take intellectual property, it is the literary and inventions. Is it clear? Literary and your own inventions that comes under intellectual property rights. Okay, so when you take intellectual property right, it is defined as a product of human intellect that have an economic value. You have a new human intellect that has an your literary works and your invention comes under your IP. You you know about it. Your teachers, you know about it. Your professors invent is some discover is some somebody has founded something. It is existing for a long time. Okay, that is discovery. Inventing somebody has developed something that has never happened before. That is invention. Okay, so discovery of fire, whether it's a discovery or invention. Any doubts? Somebody's mic is on. Yes, no. Okay, and still it is an open debate, right? Invention, discovery, or invention is fire. You know, we after the invention of we, and if you without paper, invention. See how beautiful is the invention of paper. Remember, we thought how he would have had a life without paper. So these are great, great inventions. Steam engine. Okay. When you take, we have industry 1.1, 2.2. Now we are into 4.0. That is industry, cloud technology, automating complex tasks. You know, uh, before we had only chalk and talk. Okay, I think uh, Christopher College is the first, and uh, we start. You started working on taking digital classrooms right from 2017 pandemic hit up only at 2020 but you see you are equipped you were trained you automated your task though at a distance places using internet of things you're able to take classes the pandemic was not able to affect the academics yes and you know during the pandemic itself my son and husband we have trained more than 4,000 plus faculties around the world between when the pandemic started to take and many of them, they had just mobile. They don't know how to use an email. They don't know how to register an email. But now most of them are successful. So we are all pointing towards industry. Even now, you see, we are having a webinar. I'm into one place and you are at your destination. Okay. And still we are able to share what we are able to what we do. Okay. So analytics of it. Mathematics of uh, industry 5 4.0 is automating. The task you have some automation that takes your attendance connections cloud computing internet of things big data and integrated systems okay so internet as uh, see these are little invention uh, made by maybe it could not be um, as relevant i'm just sharing it so when we meet tomorrow you can think and share of something these things can it be into the innovation, okay? Can it be into the innovation? I'm just sharing some real-time examples done by small children, school children, and how they've got it, okay? So because you're new to it, today you can go, you can rethink of whatever the contributions that you have made. I have, have I not done it? Can I be able to do it, all right? So Sarang Suman, he's from Kerala. He's the youngest innovator. He built the first robot when he was five years old. Okay, and he is doing so much and so much. Kavya Vignesh, okay, to save bees because when you take honey bees, we, we kill them. So she doesn't want it to be killed, and she made a robot. And this boy has innovated for silent a skin patch to detect silent heart attacks, and he made a device to help visually impact to read. Okay, Anand, he made goggles for the light. Okay, so. I'm just giving you general examples of a grinder. How many of you remember this grinder? Then this grinder and this grinder. Yes, first we had different grinders, right? This is a part of innovation. It's a part of innovation. They're inventing it and they're commercializing it. Okay, that is the most difficult task, right? Okay, we don't like to do it. 
what is most difficult in grinding the flour idli dosa maava rakkiradha appa maava rakkiradha enna romba kashtam you can also grind it oora vechirala aatirala edhu romba kashtam what is a difficult task in grinding washing washing and cleaning uh, that to taking the with all our anxiety all our depression all our anger will be shown towards it. that to night 11 o'clock grinding floor right that is where we get time to do things okay see there's a beautiful invention i don't know some of you would have not seen it and with this i'll conclude i think we are we are about uh, six more minutes okay see i'm just giving you an example okay how from coimbatore uh, hello friends ellarkum vanakkam innikku video la nam enna paaka porom appdi solli paathinga or super ana grinder pathila review and demo da na ungalku kaata porenga adhaavadhu kaiye vekkama eppadi indha mari alaga vandu maam edukalam appdi solli nam paakalam amma vandu romba naala vandu grinder vaangano adhu or innovative ana or grinder vaangano appdi solli nenichite irundanga appo da indha product pathi theriya vandu idhu enga irukku nu paakumbodhu zen power appdina or shop la vandu கோயம்புத்தூர்ல இருக்கு மேட்டுப்பாளையம் ரோட் கோயம்புத்தூர்ல வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா இருக்கு ஜென் பவர் அப்படின்ற ஷாப் இந்த ஷாப்போட டீடெயில்ஸ் எல்லாமே கேட்டு கேன் யூ ஹியர் த வேர்ட் அண்ட் வாட் தட் கேர்ள் வாஸ் ட்ரைங் டு சே அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் கிரைண்டர் தட் இஸ் வாட் ஐம் ஐம் நாட் மார்க்கெட்டிங் த ப்ராடக்ட் ஐ எம் ட்ரை சி இன் கிரியேட்டிவிட்டி அண்ட் இனோவேஷன் ஃபார் தி பெனிஃபிட் ஆஃப் ஆல் தட் இஸ் வாட் ஐபிஆர் சேஸ் லைக் मोस्ट ஆஃப் தி டைம் वी ஆர் டுயிங் இட் பட் சி திஸ் வெரி சிம்பிள் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் எல்லாருக்கும் வணக்கம் இன்னைக்கு வீடியோல நாம என்ன பார்க்க போறோம் அப்படினு சொல்லி பாத்தீங்க ஒரு சூ சி திஸ் இஸ் தே மேட் இட் as as a smart grinder இல்ல நீங்க வாட்ஸ்அப் போடுறது எல்லாமே நீங்க ப்ளேஸ் பண்ணலாங்க அட்டாச்மென்ட்ஸ் எல்லாம் எப்படி இருக்கு அப்படினு சொல்லி நாம பார்க்கலாம் இப்ப ஓவர் ஆல் இந்த கிரைண்டர் வந்து இப்படி தான் இங்க இருக்கு கம்ஃபர்ட் ப்ளஸ் னு முன்னாடி கொடுத்துருவாங்க இதுல இருக்கிற இந்த அட்டாச்மென்ட்ஸ் இந்த ஐட்டम्स எல்லாம் என்னென்ன அப்படினு சொல்லி பார்க்கலாம் மூணு வாஷ் பண்ணி விடுவோம் ஆனா இதுல வந்து ஒரு டிஃபரெண்டா அந்த நாப் கொடுத்திருக்காங்க இல்லையா அது வழியா நம்ம வாஷ் பண்ணி எடுக்க போறோம் சோ அது ரொம்ப எக்ஸைட்மென்ட்டா இருந்தது நீங்க எப்பவுமே இந்த ட்ரம் ஃபிட் பண்ணிட்டு அதுக்கு மேல வந்து இந்த கல்லு வெச்சிட்டு இந்த மேல திருப்புறாங்க பாத்தீங்களா அம்மா அது வந்து நல்லா நீங்க வந்து லாஸ்ட் வரைக்கும் வலுக்காம இருக்கிறதுக்காக மேல மூடி போட்டு வச்சுட்டு இப்ப சுவிட்ச் ஆன் பண்ணியாச்சு இப்ப ஆன் பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறம் மேல பாத்தீங்கன்னா இந்த மாதிரி பட்டன் ஆன் பண்ணிட்டு மேல வந்து ஹோல்ஸ் கொடுத்திருப்பாங்க அந்த மூடியில வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஹோல்ஸ் கொடுத்திருப்பாங்க தண்ணி வந்து நாலா பக்கமும் நல்லா செதற மாதிரி அந்த ஹோல்ஸ் போகும் அது வழியா தண்ணி போகும் இப்ப வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா தண்ணி வந்து எப்படி வாஷ் ஆகி வருதுன்னு பாருங்க நம்ம ட்ரம்மே எடுக்க தேவை கிடையாது கை வைக்க தேவை கிடையாது ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா இந்த பைப் வழியா வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா ட்ரம்ல இருக்கிற அந்த ஹோல் வழியா பாத்தீங்கன்னா நமக்கு ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா தண்ணி வந்து வாஷ் பண்ணி வெளியில வந்துட்டே இருக்கு இது பாக்கும்போது ரொம்ப எக்ஸைட்மெண்டா இருந்தது அரிசியா <laughs> தண்ணி ஊத்துறோம் அப்படின்னா அது எல்லாமே வெளியில வந்துருது கீழே அந்த கரெக்டான ஒரு பாத்திரம் வச்சு நம்ம வந்து வெளியில எடுத்தோம் அப்படின்னா கண்டிப்பா நமக்கு வந்து எந்த ஒரு சிங்கிள் செதர் எதுவுமே இருக்காது அந்த அளவுக்கு கிளீனா வந்துருதுங்க பாக்குறதுக்கே ரொம்ப ஆச்சரியமாவும் இருந்தது ரொம்ப இன்னோவேட்டிவ் ப்ராடக்ட் இதை வச்சே நம்ம சொல்லலாம் இப்ப பாத்தீங்கன்னா நல்ல கிளீனா வருது நம்ம அதாவது அந்த பிளாக் கலர் நாப் இருக்கு இல்லைங்களா அதான் நம்ம ரிலீஸ் பண்ணணும் அதாவது ஒயிட் கலர் நாப் இருக்கு இல்லைங்களா அதான் நம்ம ரிலீஸ் பண்ணிட்டு இந்த பிளாக் அப்படின்றது வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா நம்ம வாட்டர் கிளீன் பண்ணி எடுக்கிறோம் இல்லைங்களா அதுக்கு தான் அந்த பிளாக் ரிலீஸ் பண்ணணும் அந்த நம்ம அந்த ஒயிட் அண்ட் பிளாக் அப்படி கொடுத்துருப்பாங்க அது வந்து க்ளோஸ்ல வந்ததுக்கு அப்புறம் நம்ம அது நமக்கு ஒரு பயம் இருக்கும் அதிகமா போட்டா இழுக்குமா அப்படியே ஸ்டக் அதுல டாட்ஸ் கொடுத்துருப்பாங்க see we have been using this a small innovation without touching hand you can just put the flour it grinds and it pushes out after that if you open the black knob you pour the water and that also without keeping hand the entire thing is washed and every time the girl says it is an innovative product okay they have invented it they made there was a problem they made a research they found an invention but with the invention they didn't stop they made into innovation where is they commercialized and that is where i fear that is what the government of india wants the creativity it you can map it to your institution okay to your uh, job and what you do. invention is creation of new ideas they have done an idea they didn't stop with that idea innovation is practical example of making into marketable products or services and now this this grinder has been used by many people it's only from point but a small idea a small thing 
okay something that is non existing is one day innovation this is what government of india wants us into registering into ipr as you have an idea you have an idea which has a theory research and science you then invent into it you make it as a prototype it could be a te- even a teaching model that could be patent then you commercialize it delivery and acceptance okay a wheel is an invention a car is an innovation World Wide Web is an internet. That is an invention. The Facebook, the Google Classrooms, everything we use is a invention. That they're just a part of part of an idea. So it's a term referring to distinct type of creations of the mind for which properties and rights are recognized. But your a right that is given to a person. If you take patent as for twenty years, you have your own ideas. You have the seed belt that has got a patent and they made it open. Anybody could use it. Okay, ideas intangible as such without the worrying of competition for a specific period of time. It is a licensing. You can license. You can think of what you could be licensing. Okay, your IPR rights. You can setting your business apart from your competitors. As I answered. Okay, how it is different, the methodology, even the methodology in which you teach, where you find it successful. Okay, for the upliftment of the society and for the marginalized, that also could be done. Okay, we have seen the general things about uh, today. All right. So today we started with IPR. I know sometimes it is new. Okay, tomorrow we'll be seeing about uh, the IIC, in Institution Innovation Council. Uh, what are the institutions uh, uh, they have? been already registered into this okay this is the website of it mic.gov.in okay celebrating one year of national you you know you are you are educationalist so you all know about nep okay national education policy and we are the one who are capturing see it's the first repository of uh, literary and here you have, uh, they are giving teachings for ambassadors for incubators You can register your um, uh, college also into this. Okay, any doubts till now? Today we started with general inter- introduction with IPR, some real time examples, the main comp, and we saw what is national innovation uh, policy. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, what are the facilities uh, they are giving? And then we started with the geographical indication, patents, trademarks, trade secrets, and copyrights. It's a huge thing, and we'll be seeing in detail about in tomorrow. Okay, and I've shared some details with you about the IP government, uh, IP India, or GOV.in, the NISP details, and Tamil Nadu uh, innovation. Uh, startup and innovation funds and details. All right. Here you can see what are the institutions. Okay. What are the institutions uh, established? Okay. And you can see if you only see about. Once you become an in, in an incubation center. Superior University, all kind of uh, colleges also. It's not only engineering colleges, all kind of colleges. Okay, all the fi- all kinds of colleges will be there in it. Okay. Uh, see higher education. I told you right, arts and science college. Even education institutions have to see MJR Education and Research Institute. Arts and Science College, even educational colleges also they have it. And we'll see you work along with you. Kaveri College for Women. It's open for all. It's open for all kind of colleges. Uh, we, we can have a pre-incubation center, then move into an incubation center. And then we, we have got some funding schemes to work on with that. And it goes on. So we'll be seeing about this in detail tomorrow. How we need to register and what could be done. Okay. So any doubts or it's new? I don't know. 
you could see say to it this is it's cross 10 15 any questions so tomorrow we'll at the end of the session we'll play a live quiz today's and tomorrow's content let's see who will be the winner yes With the poll that earlier, uh, the start of the class. With the poll that at the start of the class is the <laughs> Okay, anyway. Our teachers are smart, we do it. Yes, yes. Always smart. Christopher is known for smartness. You have a good leader. Thanks, Doreen. So, hope uh, we all will think about uh, today's session and uh, come prepared tomorrow. Yes, yes. Something you think, mm -hmm. what you have, you, you have been doing it. Just we have to kindle our minds to think. Uh, you have, Sometimes we go on to one rope. This becomes mechanical. This I'm doing, this I'm doing, this I'm doing. Are we registering it? Are we making it beneficial for, for that is what the IPR policy they wanted. The creativity and innovation for the benefit of even a small teaching model. My mother still used to tell how Jason Miss came for the interview and how she taught the Pakras theorem. Every interview she says, only because of the explanation of it, and she was so much attracted and Miss has served us for a long time. So that that that's an innovation, right? The way you teach the concept, how the students they capture it. So you can you have a methodology that could be patent or some work my authorships that you can you can have it as a copyrighted. We are doing many things. We are not in, we are not we are not claiming the rights. That is what uh, Ashok Professor Ashok Jindinwal has made startups and innovation into the education system right from 2019, and we will be working together. Thank you all. God bless. Thank you. 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 Thank you.